All right, we're here today with Andy and Christoph, and I want to ask them a little about what we've done from a Manny Coors perspective to really increase the performance for the processor. So Andy, what have we done on the hardware side and on the platform side to really make this processor shine? Sure, so the most obvious thing is increasing the core count, right? Our current product has six cores per processor, now we've got 12 cores per processor, but it's more than just that. In addition to adding more cores, we've also increased the number of memory channels. So this gives you more, you know, more memory bandwidth, uh, better uh, interaction between the cores and the memory. Also, we've got more cache, so that's able to store information closer to the cores. They don't have to go out to memory more often. And finally, the other major addition is more hypertransport links, which give you more connectivity between the different processors and between the I.O. So you've got more processors, more connectivity to memory, and more connectivity to I.O., as well as more cache. Great. Now, now Christoph, I think often we always forget that you know we're a silicon company, but there's this whole other part of AMD that's all about the software. What have we done from a from a compiler standpoint to really optimize performance? Yeah, so from a, a software standpoint, indeed, uh, tool chains and the key uh, component of tool chains is compiler uh, has been one of our uh, emphasis. We've been uh, working on releasing last year the x86 Open64 compiler suite, which is a free open source project supported by AMD. Uh, we've pushed a lot of performance improvements related to MagniCore in this compiler. Uh, for instance, we've been uh, enabling better uh, use of microarchitecture features, uh, software optimization that is derived from such. Uh, we've been also improving scalability on MagniCore systems. And finally as well, we've been making sure that uh, the experience using multi-core uh, has been improved. Uh, for instance, through auto-parallelism and OpenMP uh, support. So we've done quite a lot. We've been pushing a lot of good performance from one release of the Open64 compiler to the next. Um, we've been pushing this performance improvement uh, on AMD platforms. However, it is a free open source project. Some of these improvements also are driven on other platforms which are not AMD. So we are proud of this as well. Great. Now, l let me ask you both, um, what types of applications do you think are really going to see the biggest performance gains from having a Manicores processor? Sure, so some of the places where you'll see an advantage are high performance computing. Obviously, the, the higher uh, number of cores, the more memory bandwidth. But we really believe that you're going to see a large improvement in, in database and virtualization applications too with the, uh, the large memory footprint that these processors are going to support and the bandwidth. You're able to you know, store um, more information for database applications in, in memory as well as host more virtual machines in a virtualized environment. Okay. Yep. Improving uh, scalability, improving uh, usage of multi-core is also one of um, uh, key features we've been added, uh, adding in the software. Um, this is uh, going to drive improvement in certain workloads, high performance computing possibly, but also other applications, um, databases as well. Great. Well, thank you both, and we're going to move on to the next section now.